All right. It's time to start our day. Come on, Sita. It's already done. That was some chew. <sighs> I have a lot of jobs today. I'm always trying to beat the rain. We're at the Fortress of Soli Solitude. We're from California originally. Well, before I landed here from another planet 900 years ago, but you can say I'm half a hundred. This is about Sita, walking with Sita before I get into the hustle and bustle. Uh, it was, I haven't had a day off in three months. So we are gonna, walking in Florida, we're gonna go walk to the post office. She just gonna do the ding 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 ding. You have to say in Asian style like they used to in the Vietnam era. Me love you long time. These boots are made for walking. We close the uh, the hood. Uh, we're probably gonna go through our backyard. That's my drinking spot right there. That's where I like to sit and drink and give people a bird's eye view into my, my, my uh, fortress of solitude. All right. No, yeah, I'm filming you, you're walking. This is about you, not about me. I'm already a superstar. Well, I am a superstar. I'm just trying to hide myself from the world for the last 50 years. Got a little butt. Ah, oh, lawn equipment. Got more equipment out there. My trucks and stuff. Damn, my tree's getting big. Sorry, I'm not a good cameraman like Sita. Sita's got short legs. Ugh. I cut grass. So, uh, there's the spaceship. Our backyard? Yeah, we chose this spot because It's in the jungle and nobody knows it exists. It's like that little town from uh, that episode in the Twilight Zone with William Shatner. For those of you not old enough to know who Bill Shatner is, that's Captain Kirk in modern language. Yeah, it was like one of his first gigs and uh, him and his wife were newly wed and they moved into a weird little town. and It was so quiet and peaceful. They're like, where are all the people? Well, they're in the Twilight Zone. The town didn't really exist. So, one time me and Sita were vacationing in uh, 2003, end of 2003, right, Sita? Um, accidentally, this is before GPS and navigations and coming from Orlando and I was like huh northeast west south and I wonder if I cut here I end up where I need to go I stumbled on this little town I was like see this is the coolest town it's so quiet reminds me of the Twilight Zone there's no people around and she's like I said when I get old and retire I was in my 30s that time now I'm in my 50s I said, uh, 
I'd like to retire there. And she said, are you crazy? And I said, no, it looks cool. So I went to the cashier and I said, ma'am, is this a real town? And she, she got a, kind of offended. And she talked Southern to me and said, yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're from Cali, you talk like, like, it's like this, it's like that. When you come over here, you gotta get the twang down, you know? You reckon it's gonna rain? <sighs> down yonder. Fixing to do this, fixing to do that. See the Lex Roses. Beamer, man. That's some big old trees. It's funny here because I'll mail a letter, right? And it's been like this for over 22 years, they told me, the postmaster here. And they don't deliver it, like three weeks later. But sometimes I get in trouble. What? So, I'm like, why don't you just deliver the mail? I sent it down the street. And they're like, we haven't delivered mail. Oh, you all right? We haven't delivered mail here in 22 years. It goes down to Tampa, that's downtown. Then it goes to St. Petersburg. I'm like, damn, St. Petersburg? You mean Russia? And they said, no, St. Petersburg, Florida. And I'm like, that's even farther. I was like, 50 miles from here. And then it gets sent back to Plant City. So it's like, I don't get it. I'm like, then what do you guys do here? Oh, we do Lakeland's mail. Well, that's, it's like a town 20 miles from here. That don't make no sense. You know, Florida, everything's opposite of California. So my theory is when we came here, <clears throat> I threw a dart to see where I was gonna end up. And we ended up here, the Fortress of Solitude. And, uh, so for people that like my age and Sita's age, you know, middle-aged, I guess, middle-aged now is the new, new, like, 18, I think so, for me anyway. I always had a theory, if you're born in California, you need, you know, the East Coast, or the West Coast, you need to retire in the West Coast, and east and you know, west and north you got to come down south and south you go up north that's just the nature of things you know before you check out and uh that's how i ended up here uh if you're a foodie i guess that's the term they call it nowadays people that like to eat you definitely will get skinny here because the food sucks compared to, you know, East Coast standard and stuff. Had a lot of friends, you know, from Jersey and Chicago and New York. They call this place a cabbage batch. They couldn't take it. They couldn't take the solitude and they miss the, the hustle and the bustle. And uh, they, uh, they, uh, had to go back but for people that like me half a hundred I remember the old days in San Diego where it was like quiet and so I had to get out of there Those people are like ants you know in California now I lived in Nevada for eight years but it was too cold for me so I lived up in the foothills. I lived uh, at the Bonanza, by Bonanza, like 15 minutes from Bonanza we did for eight years. It was great. Eek. 
do you uh, just kill it once I drop the mail? Real quick. The whole video. Well, the light is always on. Turn it off now.